What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are here with some Scan versus Boo in our fourth match of the tournament. Uh, let me just make sure everything is closed here so there is no lag. And okay, bam, we're jumping in to it. Um, I saw them post on SCW, and that's what you guys have to do. If you can't find your opponent, try to contact them through the SCW website. Uh, if they ignore you there, I will try my best to get in contact with them. And, um, yeah, we'll see how she goes. If, uh, yeah, you guys can't figure it out, I'll go schedule them and make those tournament decisions. So we got a, a, a Protoss. We got Sniper Scope up here, aka Fire Boo, uh, playing under Micro VR, uh, versus Scan himself down in the bottom left position. He does have a corner and he will be Zerg. So this is going to be advantageous for Scan. We're going to see if he goes for his famous Quick Factory. I'm hoping that he does because uh, I've been trying it out and it, like it, it works well, but at the same time, when I'm scouted first, it's super vulnerable. Versus that Protoss. Uh, doesn't look like he's going for it. He's actually going for a double barracks build here. So not going for his Super Gosu uh, double factory build. I wonder if that's because of... Uh, I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that could be because of. Maybe just switching it up a little bit. Mm, Boo back here going for his double gateway. Not for the Nexus first. So uh, unexpected from both these players. Like, maybe it's because of the best of three. That's what I was originally going to say. Because of the best of three format, you don't want to throw any games uh, without putting in a solid effort. You're going to play a little bit safer as there's just two games, there isn't many games to have to win. Um, this four gate is super vulnerable versus that, that the double factory build. And he is going to be scouting in the wrong spot. Both players are going to take the long way to scout their opponents. So it's going to be a little while and maybe this can catch scan off guard. Uh, if he thinks it's a versus a Zerg and then a bunch of Zelts coming from this four gate could catch him off guard. And I think that's kind of what Micro VR is hoping for. Uh, he, he, he does need to get scout more though as um, going in the top middle position. Uh, yeah, he's just going to take a long time. I think that was just scanned uh, YouTube. I think he might be streaming right now. I'll have to look at that link afterwards. Let's go see if Scan is streaming. I don't know. I had to subscribe to him on YouTube, but he hasn't posted there in a while. Uh, this first, the second probe that Boo did send out is going to get picked off by that Marine. Uh, they are going to know the matchup, so he does go back to safety here. doesn't want to lose any Marines before he gets that massive number out. Um, no... Oh. Academy down yet, so just focusing on his Marines right now. And again, this could be good for Mr. Boo here, who's just non-stop massing Zealots here. Not what you sometimes expect from a Protoss player. Uh, but now, this, we are going to see that first <clears throat> big battle here. And this could determine a lot of how this game is going to go. Still, not a single bunker. No... Nothing here other than just Marines versus Zelda. I don't know how well this is going to go for Scan. Scan still managing to keep all of his Marines alive. And the first one just explodes. Now losing almost three Marines there. Two Marines are close to one shot. And he is going to have to back up. Now building a bunker. His barracks aren't even in the best positioning here. And that is a lot of Zealots. And this is exactly what Fire Boo was hoping could happen. The Zealots are going to get a pretty good surround on all of these Marines. Marines trying to stick together as much as they can by that bunker. The bunker is going to complete, so he isn't going to die quite yet to this push. But he has taken significant uh, damage here. Losing a lot of Marines before the medics can get out. And cannon production has started inside of his base, so he is going to have to get out here. Maybe pull a couple of these SUVs to make sure that these cannons don't get up. Is building a factory over here, which is a little interesting. Maybe going for some uh, tank drops, proxy tank drops. Can be very good if you are able to hold on here. But I am a little worried. Putting a very forward bunker, two forward bunkers here, uh, to kind of get uh, some of this wall for the Marines. But these cannons are definitely going to get up, and uh, Boo is going to be all up in his business. Medics now are out, so the Marines are going to be able to fight a lot better versus these Zealots. But the bunker is still not up here. Uh, 
medics being able to go through as they can, getting in the way here. Going to push out. These bunkers are not going to be up in time, I don't think. Maybe they will be. This is going to be really, really close here. Trying to do his best fighting against these cannons. Um, Firebats do wonders versus Zealots. The bunkers do get up. He's going to have to repair this bunker before it does go down. That bunker is in range of a lot of these other things. Uh, but doing a good job holding this, at least fighting and pushing this back as much as he possibly can. Um, nothing back at home, just been massing zealots and cannons in the fire booth. So he's not transitioning out of this. He is uh, going quite all in, uh, smelling blood on our scan here. And another bunker is going to go down. So another factory being thrown down here as well. He doesn't have the resources to be the build a starport. So I'm not sure what this factory's purpose is. Maybe just even massing vultures from there. Uh, I am not sure, but these cannons are getting closer and closer to Mr. Scan here. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be tough to hold. He has he has prevented it for a while, but you know, this factory isn't going to be done for a while. Maybe regretting building this other factory way out here. That's not going to pay off. Uh, not going to yeah, do much if he dies. I'm hoping that he does. No, okay, range isn't done yet. He definitely went for stim first, as that's usually what you do. Does have a bunker going up. Um, trying to get another bunker up, but these zealots are going to come up here. And he just tried to push back so his cannons can get closer and closer. A command center and that factory getting his uh, machine shop just right now. And we'll see if he tries to just uh, repair this or if he's going to lift that off. We could see if that's lift off, but these zealots are going to have a big path to kill here. Uh, Boo doing a great job here. Pushing this Terran player as far back as that he can. Uh, again, picking off these couple of cannons that are just a little too close. Just having to buy himself time. And Boo is going to commit in here. Sending in his Zealous. Maybe a little bit too early. Doesn't want to quite go in yet. Needs to wait till these barracks are all lifted up here. Uh, scan not repairing. The tank and siege mode is on the way here. So Scan is looking like he is going to have that tank out in time. Uh, that cannon range is crazy how long that is actually shooting right now. Definitely out of range. The, the Marines do have uh, range, but yeah, I don't know. That seems really far here. Rizel is coming in here. Possible to pick off this machine shop before Siege Mode goes. It would be nice if he tried to pick it off. We can't see exactly how close it is, but this could be uh, an awesome move for micro VR if he is able to pick that off before siege mode is done it does not look like siege mode finished there again we can't really fully tell but uh, yeah it doesn't look like siege mode is going to be done maybe start, yeah trying to upgrade it over here he is going to get that starport to try to get some tank drop coming from that bottom position which could change the tides of this game as uh, just now is the triple nexus and the gas going down so uh, Boo just now starting to macro out of this, thinking that he has done enough damage, and it looks like he has done more than enough damage. Um, Siege mode, he's, he's just going to have to make sure he doesn't lose too many probes to that dropper. That could send him back into the survey, which would buy Scan plenty of time to get back into this. Uh, the Siege mode is definitely going to be done before this main can be taken out, but uh, he's going to have to repair. The marine numbers are so low here, only producing off of one barracks. He has lost the rest of his barracks. Uh, the zealots are coming in now, having to pull some of these SCVs out. Medics doing a good job also walling off these marines here. Siege mode is finally done. <laughs> that is so many cannons. And there are zealots in here, only two marines. Plus that bunker, I guess, which could give him sufficient coverage here. Uh, I don't know how many SCVs scan has either. Um... Drop is coming, building over there. He does have lots of resources, uh, but he is taking lots of damage here. He needs to repair that command center, make sure it does not die. But all of these cannons are in range, and if this command, if this main goes down, I think it is going to be GG. Zell's coming in here, also trying to click away at this. He is going to stack repair that command center. He does have plenty of resources, so he is actually going to successfully hold that very good call, stack and repair this. Letting those tanks clear out a lot of those cannons and scans is holding on for dear life right now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it'll be insane if he, his tank drop does come down in the SGK. What 13 probe kills there? Gonna try to unseed and lift it back up here. 
isn't going to do it though. So Book doing a nice job uh, spreading out his zealots or his uh, probe there, not to die. Continuing to repair this the command center is getting so low. This next match of zealots may just be enough to pick it off. He is going to have to staff repair once again. Only two SCP repairing right now. The command center getting so low, down to 200, 100 HP. It's pulling all of his SCPs to repair, but it does go down. Just barely goes down, but the game still is not over yet, as uh, he does have this offensive tank drop coming. Well, yeah, this proxy tank drop coming in here. Now, uh, Buzo just now has to secure himself, and he should be able to finish this off. No problem. Scan has a little bit of bank, so he's not going to give up. But this is the best of three, and anything can happen, especially if he does all of get all of the probe. That's going to be his main... Um, Really going to be his only chance to win this game here is to get a massive shot off with these tanks. These uh, tanks getting massed out of one factory, but even two zealots here could uh, pose some problems to it. Uh, the drop does go down. Going to get seven, 14 probes there, which is pretty good. And another 7 there, so 21 probes, but he still has a lot of probes. Another shot off there. Holy, that is. Um, getting scary scan not realizing he does have a uh, dropship there as well scan going to slowly take back his base here getting another command center and another command center so double he could have triple command centers now up uh, and uh, yeah he is going to be fighting from behind reclaiming his base slowly um, boo doesn't want to leave his base knowing that these uh, tank drops can be uh, changing of the tides here Throwing down a couple of defensive cannons where he can, but still not completely covered. Those tanks can siege up and uh, get some shots off. The, the, the Another tank drop is getting loaded up. And, yeah, Scan going to try to find himself some damage. Would it be surprised if Scan throws down a Scan? He doesn't want to run into these Dragoons. And he is running into one Dragoon with one uh, cannon there as well. Going to bugger off there, continuing to build tanks and dropship. Now slowly getting back in his base. Citadel of a Doom just finishing now, so still not much tech coming in here. Uh, Boo just focusing on massing right now. Going to get his gateway numbers up and uh, yeah, just try to get a solid mass to just finish this game. Uh, notice he doesn't have to get too fancy here. So actually four command centers down. Uh, but here he comes now out. No zealot range, but he does have a very big supply lead, and there isn't any wall off either here. So Scan is going to have to deal with this. I don't think he has enough to deal with this number. If he gets the if he gets the wall off now, he could have a chance, but no, this still is not going to be a wall off. A little bit too late here on the wall, and not even a complete wall. He does do have a pathway to come in here. I'll be amazed if he can hold this. But I think it's going to be uh, enough here to actually take out Scan. Scan may not have enough of us. Drop did just fall there. Did not look like it took out some probes here. Was three bunkers. If those bunkers got up, I think he may have been able to hold. But uh, I just don't think he's going to be able to. Only producing Marines off of one bunk or one barracks. Uh, looks like this is just going to be enough here. He's going to have plenty of money to reinforce this. And it looks like Boo is going to take game one here. I don't see how Scan can possibly hold on here. It would take a miracle. Just a little bit late up on retaking that choke. You have to do that immediately once you clear those cannons out. Uh, but he is somehow holding on, and another drop coming down here, getting 17 kills. So he is getting big shots off here, but he's not getting all of them. Boo is managing to keep them alive, and as long as he can continue to mass, he should be able to <laughs> win this. But yeah, it's funny, just scan just not giving up here. Uh, and you just have to wonder if this is possible for him to get back into this game. Picking off these factories and now a ton of SCVs are having to be pulled as uh, he doesn't have much else to fight with but Boo back at home uh, has enough money to continue to reinforce these tank drops are continuing to come in. I can't believe I missed uh, the other drop. I'm just getting the tail end of them as there is just so much going on here. 
uh, is trying to get that wall up, knowing that he has to get that wall up, but he just doesn't have much to support it. One tank and a couple of uh, Marines here just doesn't have the production right now. And uh, yeah, just hasn't quite gotten enough kills with these drops here. It looks like, I keep saying the boot's going to take it, but uh, <laughs> the scan's just not giving up. I think that has also has a lot to do with the best of three here. Uh, knowing if he loses the first game, that didn't have to win two in a row. And uh, Terran vs. Protoss is a very winnable first game to have. You can have three tanks, two marines, and no completed bunkers. <laughs> and yeah. Oh, another drop that I fucking I didn't miss it again, getting the tail end. But good spreading. And yeah, just saving enough probes for him to be able to mass enough to take out Scan here. GG is called. And Boo is actually going to 1-0 the champion. Oh my goodness. Could we have a, a, our first huge upset of the thing? Our, our predicted champion losing to Mr. Micro VR. We'll see. Here, game number two. Uh, Micro VR with a big time ponage of scan in that first game, and now he is going to be Terran versus Zerg in this second game here. Uh, we'll see exactly how she goes. Um, we are in replay mode, so we can have the advantage of just speeding up these first couple of minutes here. As uh, nothing too insane typically happens, we are going to see Scan going for that standard and safe hatchery first. Not going to let himself die to anything too risky. Does need to win the next two games as Mr. Boo playing out of his mind Gosu right now. And uh, yeah, manhandling Scan in that first game. Going to try to finish it off right now. Does not want to go into a game number three and he has himself a good opportunity to do that right now. Uh, scan getting that second hatchery up again nothing too standard uh, or nothing too uh, non-standard out of this everything looking very standard first marine gonna go out and scout and make sure he's not up against a mid build this uh, overlord doing the same thing and they are just going to barely miss each other there so they're not going to know the matchup quite yet because uh, if that overlord did see that marine he would be going for cover as he is going to be a little bit vulnerable out here in the middle first two zerglings are going to join the marines in their scout party and going to go across the map joined by four zerglings so he did produce four zerglings being extra safe against just in case he is up against any kind of um zealot build was able to pick off one of those scouting marines here and uh gonna run by this other one could have potentially get it oh he does see that now he's going to uh, have his reinforcements close by though and isn't going to die to that or fall for that trick Zergling is going to run up here, sneak by those marines, and get a little scout off, see exactly what he's going to go on. He's going to see that uh, uh, academy, so he is going to be aware that this could be a possible stim push. Uh, Boo going in the wrong direction once again, trying to find the Zerg player, making sure that he didn't do some kind of crazy no-choke build there. Um, I think this is the last spot for him to scout. He had a 50 chance of finding it and now he is going to locate it throwing down a command center and getting stim upgrade is uh, boo and we have a very quick layer for scan so um, we'll see if scans gonna go for those lurkers or those mutas not gonna go for his famous ling break uh, I think he is too close to game point to go for something like that uh, ling running around the map still just trying to get any additional information that he can uh, two more sunkens being put down, uh, and the double factory push looks like it is going to be happening. So a stim two factory build, very powerful, uh, very strong and safe build choice for micro VR. Going to be applying a lot of pressure to our scan, and scan has actually thrown down a spire, so he's going to go for the Gosu Muta play here. Uh, which I do like to watch a lot. Zergling almost picking off an SUV there. Uh, this other Zergling actually going to get a scout off once again. Going to see if there's anything too crazy going on back at home. Uh, Command Center going to start his comp sat station. Uh, looking like he was maybe going to throw down another Command Center here. 
but they're not going to be the case here. Does have three additional hatcheries building right now and throwing down two additional extractors. Uh, Marines continuing to rally forward, so his main could be a little bit vulnerable and an armory here too. Uh, so throwing down an armory before his engineering bay, which is a little bit of an interesting choice here. I uh, don't know if he somehow got a read that this is muted or if he's just preparing for those mutas because that armory will allow him to get uh, Valkyries out. Also some quick upgrades for those mech units. Uh, and that looks like what he's going to be going heavily in, which isn't too uncommon, but a third factory out here in the middle of the map that isn't the most common. Uh, so maybe going to be a triple tank push, or maybe that's for Goliath. I guess that could be for Goliath too, just wanting that extra uh, factory for some Goliath production. Uh, Goliath and Valkyries are a pretty good counter to Mutas, but I don't know how he knows that Mutas. He has not got a scout off yet. So a uh, little uh, interesting that he's just, uh, maybe he just, I don't know, I'm not exactly sure what's making him make that decision to go for the quick army. Maybe just a hunch since he does have the ground covered with his marine medic and tanks. Uh, the only thing that he is vulnerable to is mutas. So he does, he's just preparing for that knowing that the Koreas love their muta micro. He is going to see that uh, his his uh, hunch was correct and he is going to see the first six mutas coming out here. Mute is going to be doing their Gosu Micro versus these Marine Medics and try to pick off these tanks. Uh, it does lose one Muta there and the other one is super low uh, HP. Okay, we are recording. Good, just had to alt tab there just to make sure because I'm always worried. And Streamlab just effed me over actually. Uh, but we're not going to talk about that. We are just going to focus on this game, picking up more and more Marines. But these tanks are inching closer forward. Now up to 6-9. Mutas here. One just dropped down. Uh, but he is doing a very good job picking off a lot of these Marines. More Stim Marines come in here as reinforcements. Picked off four Sunkins and this hatchery is almost down. Um, getting a couple of Sunkins back at home. So he does have some kind of shielding for these uh, mutas and zergling in production right now as well as his hive nearly complete so i'm uh, gonna go right into guardian tech it appears mutas just doing work on those tanks gonna pick off even more tanks just one tank left it's producing the lias and uh, three more factories two more factories i guess uh added here so going to go for tank goliath it looks like uh, not going to go for the Valkyries, at least yet. Uh, the Valkyries are pretty expensive in gas. Adding a lot of gas, so is uh, Boo. Uh, even more additional refineries getting thrown down here. Uh, the Hive is out. Don't see uh, a Hydralist. Okay, we do see the Hydralist dead now. We do need to see that Defiler dead thrown down as well. Unless he's going to be focusing uh, fully on this Muta Guardian. But I don't know how well it's going to work versus all of the Goliaths that uh, looks like he's just going to continue to add on. Muta's going to run by and there is nothing back still. Still no engineering bay or any turrets back at home. So if uh, Scan so chooses, he could try to defend with what he has at home and uh, kill his main potential. At least a lot of SUVs, which would really tamper, hamper this push here. A couple of Goliaths going back here, knowing that his main is very vulnerable. Um, but these Mutas are going to move back to try to hold this push here. And without those Goliaths, if this push isn't very or this push yeah isn't very strong looking. Only a handful of Goliaths with uh, three tanks and some Marines. Uh, lots of Mutas and Zerglings are going to come forward, and this is absolutely going to have no problem clearing all of this out. So scan. Um, very nicely done here and may actually have an opportunity to just GG boo right here. Uh, lots of Zerglings and Mutants going to be right on top of these factories. Going to stop the production for the most part unless his Goliath can somehow, some way hold on. Don't know if they can though. That is a lot of Zerglings and Mutants. Most of these Zerglings do go down. Not fighting with these Mutants. These Mutants trying to target down the starport there. But it looks like there is just enough for him to hold on. Scan maybe being a little... No, she no, I guess not. There is a lot of Goliaths there. And the Terran push is going to continue forward here. A Greater Spire just finished. So I guess maybe that's what he was pulling back for. He's going to pull back just in time 
for that greater spark. He is going to have guardians. Um, there is a good number of Goliath, and the first Valkyrie is out as well. It's adding on a lot of factories out here. So this is very strong build here from Boo. Trying to kill the Zerg before that Defiler Lurker comes out here. And he is doing a good job. He has fully penetrated this choke and only has one sunken to his name. These Guardians and Hydras are going to have to hold this back or else uh, Boo is going to eliminate Scan here. I don't know if uh, he does have enough here. Not many Siege Tanks. So these, well, these Hydras are actually going to be the saving grace here. Going to be able to pick off that Valkyrie and push this army back once again. Uh, and yeah, it's a very close game. Scan now looks like he's going to be on the offense. Both players just trading blows. Uh, Scan does not have to go far far to uh, win this game. If he's able to get on top of these factories, it is going to be GG. But uh, there is just enough tanks here to push these Hydralists back. And now these Guardians are fighting against Goliaths and Valkyries. And that isn't what Guardians are good at fighting against. So the Guardians taking a lot of damage. A couple of Scourge here going to save the day against that Valkyrie. Um... But Goliath holding their own trading with these Guardians fairly well. Uh, especially with all the damage they've taken from those Valkyries. The other Valkyrie goes down to those Scourge here. But only three Guardians remain and these Goliaths will be more than enough. Uh, so all these additional factories being absolutely helpful here. And uh, just trying to buy himself time. I don't see any Defiler still on the map. Still going with a Guardian. A Hydra build and now once again micro VR is going to be counter pushing again So this again continue to go back and forth this game is very very close scan really getting pushed to the limits here by boo Who's just playing out of his mind go to right now? Uh, Hydras versus Goliath the Goliath still have a good numbers, but with these siege tanks It is not going to be a favorable trade for scan uh, moving these Goliaths back letting those tanks do their job and I still don't see any Defilers. He has a Defiler dead, but still no Defilers yet built here. And uh, I feel like that is what he needs right now. Zergling Defiler could save him if he doesn't have time to get those Zerglings. And if he needs his Hydras to be his anti-air. Another Valkyrie getting a lot of shots off on these Guardians. Uh, but this fight, I don't know. That, okay, this fight, the Zerg, once again, Scan is going to uh, hold. But these uh, Guardians don't have anything to protect them right now. Hydra is just going to be spawning in the nick of time, I think, to save a couple of these Guardians. Uh, Scourge is out as well. And, uh, yeah, going to going to just barely hold this back. This is a nutsly intense game here. Uh, going to fight here at the edge of Scan's choke once again. Looks like he's going to have more than enough. But there we go. We finally see those Defilers out. And that Swarm is going to turn the tide, they think. That is exactly what Scan needed right in the nick of time. Uh, the Lurker Swarm is, yeah, going to save his grace. We see the Lurkers building now. And these Defilers look like they were out just in time. That first Swarm, though, not very good. Protecting more of the Terran than uh, the Zerg here. Uh, but going to yeah, get another swarm here and yeah with some zerglings and once he's lurker spawn he is absolutely going to hold and uh, this push is going to be halted unless something crazy happens a micro is going to need some vessels or something Goliaths are no longer going to work as though they have been working very nicely they just don't do anything versus the defiler swarm um, going to get a couple more consumes there and yeah, he is slowly regaining his choke. These lurkers are going to continue to push forward. Uh, and nothing to, no answer to the defilers. He was really hoping to kill Scan before this came out. Uh, but yeah, the swarm, the Terran's worst enemy. A couple of lurkers falling before they burrow, but once they're buried, yeah, this is going to stop this push. Micro is going to have to find a new way to kill it. It looks like he has starports are the answer. Uh, probably to start massing vessels. Uh, that is what you need. That is the best way to fight this. Vessels and uh, nukes. Vessels can uh, get those defilers, especially without any spores. They're too much anti-air. That scan definitely doesn't have the most anti-air. Uh, but yeah, scan definitely uh, a little worried there. He probably was, as I was for him, uh, almost dying to Mr. Micro VR. Valkyries queued up, so not yet transitioning into that... Um, the Vessel is going to continue to try to use Tank Goliath, which just does not work versus Lurker Swarm. Uh, he is at 1-1. One, one. 
and one upgrade on his air versus one and two actually attack upgrade on the mutas so uh, upgrades are looking good for both players and it looks like we are going to be transitioning now into that uh, late game or at least a mid late game with that transition closely just mid game ending but late game hasn't quite started um, Scourge is going to pick off some Valkyries there and it looks like Boo is going to try to take this ledge here to uh, not allow any kind of run by. Clearing out of the Overlords here as well makes me think he's possibly going to try to go for some uh, drop play. Uh, but yeah, Boo is now maxed out and he is going to try this push here. Um, but he does not have an answer to these Defilers, so unless these Defilers somehow just run out of energy, which I don't think is going to happen, he's not going to be able to push the third player. Uh, knowing that Scan is safe, he is throwing down uh, a couple more hatcheries here, adding another layer of hatcheries. Uh, he does have Lurkers back here as well, maybe uh, preparing for some kind of drop. Knowing that that is probably the next attack for... Um, for Mr. Boo here, continuing to key or no, there he cancelled some of those Valkyries and is now just making vessels and throwing down three more star ports at home. Erad just starting now, and it looks like uh, Boo is just going to be happy with uh, containing the Zerg player now. Uh, more guardians being produced. Uh, and lots of drones being made too. Uh, scan up to 80 drones. Uh, going to look to just play it nice and safe as he knows he's in a pretty good position. His Valkyrie's actually going to come over here and find a bunch of spawning guardians here. Uh, so a lot of these guardians are going to get taken out. Going to spawn and try to run away. Some Hydralis here going to defend and these Valkyries are going to back off a little bit. I'm going to send all of these drones to collect more minerals. So yeah, both players having a lot of workers. Um, micro up to 100 SCVs. Scan up to nearly 80. We must be yeah, building some spores here on the side. Uh, lots of scourges being made now. Going to try to use them to pick off the, the vessels and the Valkyrie so his guardians can get some work in. Um, just preparing himself for any kind of counterattacks as he is uh, getting ready to push out with his Lurker Swarm. Uh, these Swarms are never going to stop. The Scourge is coming in, going to pick off all of these Valkyries and even a Vessel to join us. So very cost-efficient trade here. Uh, going to send up more Scourge here to try to pick off the rest of these Vessels. Just barely misses that one. But these Guardians are just going to be up against Goliath now, Goliath tank. And versus Guardian, Zerglings, Lurker Swarm. Um, yeah, this is definitely going to go into Scan's favor. Uh, two nice Erads going to go down here, but he does not have enough vessels to uh, continually pick off these Defilers. And these Defilers are what's going to be the game changer here. Scan for the first time taking a supply lead here. Uh, looks like Fu is actually transitioning into the dropships like I, I, I assumed he would. These Guardians want a little AFK. But I don't think that is where the main battle is happening. A lot of these factories are not queuing up units right now. And that is all that Boo needs right now is some units. He needs some tanks and Goliaths to try to contain the Zerg. But the Zerg is going to get on top of all of these factories. And it looks like Scan is actually going to hold on here. I don't see how Micro can hold on. He has nothing back at home. This is all of his production right out in the middle of the map. And Scan is now on top of all of these factories. Uh, pushing forward and taking all that and GG is going to be called we are going to go into a game number three here scan holding on and surviving that was close game for him uh, micro almost had him a couple of times there uh, but GG is going to be called and yeah we are going to jump into that game number three scan having to win once more boo looking for that upset uh we'll see what happens so much at stake here so much uh intenseness that we have we'll jump into game number three right now gg well played see you in game number three game number three we have scan in the top right position as Terran. Versus Micro, who is going to be Protoss. So it is going to be a rematch of that first game. 
and we shall see it is cross spawn so this does lead me to believe it is going to be a, a longer game uh, the longest game I ever saw was actually cross spawn Terran vs Protoss I think JH was involved and it was at uh, about two hours or just over two hours I believe I did cast it like on time 16 and it still took a shit ton of time to uh, cast uh, we'll see if Scan is going to go for that factory build, though, this time. He, I, I don't think I've seen him ever lose for it with, with it, using it. And, okay, he is going to go for it. Micro going for that very Nexus first here. So both players uh, going to get the builds off that they want without too much pressure. That, that Nexus is in a triple location, too. When usually you build it over there, but you want to build a triple Nexus. Um, SCV going to go out there and scout, make sure he's not up against anything too aggressive uh, as he waits to start those factories. So he is going to go right into that factory build, going to be scouting both players are. And yeah, we do see a triple, so a triple Nexus before Gateway from Micro versus the quick factory from Scan. We'll see how this goes. I think the factory build, I think it's good regardless. Uh, it's 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 a little bit better versus a more aggressive Protoss for the most part, at least from Scan, because he can micro those vultures like a madman. Uh, he is going to see he's up against a cannoned Protoss, so he can fill in the blanks for the most part. Both of these SCVs uh, having a hard time finding their opponent, but now he's going to see that there is four Marines out there. Going to lift up that barracks and add a couple more factories. I uh, won't be surprised if he goes for a triple command center now. Uh, knowing that he isn't going to be up against too much pressure. Second probe going to come in here. Going to try to get in there, but it's also going to be confirmed that uh, not going to happen. Going to land that barracks up here as part of his choke. And we'll see what happens. We have a two upgrades coming down for Boo. All three upgrades. So it looks like Boo is going to be uh, going for a very mass-heavy build. Going to try to... Uh, breakthrough with Zealous and Dragoons. He's going to have very, very quick upgrades and he's going to want to capitalize on that. These first couple of Vultures are running across the map and are going to be able to run past those uh, cannons. Mm, there is a couple of cannons here back at home. Uh, so not going to get too much damage to him, but he does find a nice little sweet spot here where he's going to be able to pick off a couple of probes. Uh, losing probe though when you go with triple right away isn't the biggest of deal especially at this stage in the game as you are just going to have more probes than you can handle uh, but I think he is going to see that all of those forges were rotating and he's going to have an idea that he's going to be up against a very uh, mass heavy game not going to have to focus on the drops quite as quickly uh, but he is going to send a lot of these vultures out on the map going to pick off a nice probe there which could stop a future expansion that you just don't want the Protoss to be doing as uh, having to contain one Protoss base is hard enough let alone when there is two out on the map. Uh, vultures out there um, starting to throw down that massive gateway um, stack now actually set nice little widow mines all across the map too so he's gonna have vision on these mineral patches and also see uh, potentially scout any expansions here so i like that a lot using the widow mines kind of like a burrowed zerglings and uh, going to do some nice detecting and it looks like he's actually going to use these widow mines as sort of a wall to check for scouts which is also super goes to very nice usage of these vultures and these widow mines uh, that's definitely what he is doing. Going to build a nice wall around the Protoss base. Going to be able to spot those drops. I like that a lot uh, by Mr. Scan. Uh, you know that the Protoss is going to be using drops at one point or another. Even though there is no robotics facility quite yet. Just getting those upgrades. Uh, the Psy Storm, the Dragoon Range, the Zealot Speed. Getting all of those uh, ground upgrades that he needs. As he's going to be looking to just mass ground units. Uh, back at home, we do see a little bit of a later third command center for Scan. So Scan not um, maybe reacting as perfectly as he possibly could have. I think you really need to throw down that triple command center right away. Um, just to really get that economy going, knowing that you're up against a triple yourself. He 99% scouted that. Uh, lots of cannons going up at home, knowing that tank drops are going to be a very possible thing. 
three probes out here macroing up those gateways going to uh, be ready to mass uh, very soon i do like that little wall of widow mines a lot from scan scan very gosu indeed throwing down a lot of widow mines outside of his base to help prevent he actually did throw down a second barracks as well i think that is just to help load up bunkers uh, Scan playing very, very defensively though. We're just, we're just not used to seeing him playing this defensively. Even throwing up uh, turrets right now a little bit earlier than uh, he needs. As uh, I guess the robotic Phillies are just starting now. The scan is going to go down. He is going to see uh, kind of the progression of the Zerg player there, or the Protoss player. 1-1 uh, one, one is done on these uh, units. 2-2-2 two, two, two is now starting as well. So the upgrade advantage is definitely going to be in the Protoss' flavor as the, favor as the armories are just starting now. So that is going to be a uh, big thing in these early games here. First tank drop is out and is just going to uh, land right here. He did scan seeing that uh, he's not likely going to be able to get a tank drop off on a single drop even though there's a possibility on this side. But uh, I'm going to opt not to do that. A Widow Mine looked like it came out and <laughs> blew up those tanks. But also that Zealot is going to survive it. First Storm Drop is going to be loaded up. We do have Wraith Production here. I'm going to use those to help pick off these drop ships. Um, going to shuttle over some Zealots here in the top corner it looks like. One Widow Mine does injure these three and also kills that weakened Zealot. But yeah, very nice stuff though for Micro VR. I think he's setting himself up in a really nice position. I don't know if Scan is responding perfectly well. Still only on four uh, factories. Uh, he's only at 60 SCVs versus 92 probes. So that late triple is definitely going to be hurting him. Uh, however, he has invested a lot into turrets and these anti-drops. And he's also going to be able to see these drops coming with his little Widow Mine wall. Scan is... I believe Scan saw that. At least that second dropship. We'll see how he reacts to that. Wraith's already over here in position. Uh, it does have some patrolling units in here. Patrolling vultures. Uh, patrolling dropships. We're trying to get as much map control as he can. If he can spot these drops, he can pick them off with his little go through Wraith that he is going into. Adding three more starports, so he is going heavy into these wraith. It looks like uh, going to come up here where it is going to snipe the dropship that does have it. The High Templar does drop, but uh, a little bit of a journey to get to those minerals. Not going to quite make it. The Vulture's going to come up here and clean up the zealots, uh, getting his second armories down. So he is going to be starting all four of his upgrades. Uh, another drop getting loaded up here. We now have 2-2, two, two, so 3-3 three, three is going to be started here. He's going to be fully upgraded by like the 13 minute mark. Uh, maybe for his even his first attack. I'm not sure. No, he's probably going to attack before that. 3-3 three, three, though is starting now for Mr. Micro VR. Another drop coming in here. Uh, Race did spot that though with their Gosu Widow Mines, and he is going to pick this off before it even has a chance to go into his base. Uh, very nicely done that course there. <clears throat> this was a couple of shots there. Did some pretty good damage to those race. So uh, vault or corsairs are pretty good um, versus race and um, yeah, it does have two starports producing. I'm going to continue to be massing drops here while he masses his two two ground units. His ground units absolutely going to be crushing these uh, ground. I just lost connection to what's going on here. Uh, hopefully I don't need that. Let me just pause to make sure that doesn't fuck up my. Okay, no, I don't need. I don't need a connection with this. I had to switch over to my other uh, recording program since Streamlabs was effing up on me. And I was losing a bunch of frames per second on that last cast there, which is super annoying. Hopefully it doesn't affect it too much. Um, but yeah, we're going to see this push come in here it is going to distract while this drop comes out of here the race are out of position and this drop is going to come in from the top it looks like it is going to land two corsair see that 84 a lot of SCVs going to go down there 84 what plus 23 
uh, SCVs there, not what you want in the situation. That frontal attack, taking out a couple of depots and a bunker, uh, but but surviving is scan. And, but this is just not the position you want as, as a scan. Throwing down a bunch more command centers. Um, and yeah, just not even looking to be aggressive here. Not adding on more factories. He needs a lot more factories. Uh, just not used to seeing this kind of playstyle from Scan. Maybe Scan has a master plan, but uh, massing Wraith versus mass Gateway just doesn't seem to be the best idea. I can't believe he has five starports just producing that. Now, I'm not sure what his long-term plan is. Um, but another push coming in here with these two two um, upgraded zealots distracting while this drop comes up here at the top is going to drop a single high temper the high doubler is going to go down and is going to get a double storm off getting 38 workers plus 4 42 SCV is going to get taken out so a massive blow to scan once again as uh, Micro continues to push forward so the, the Micro is actually looking like the better player so far in this series right now uh, his Protoss and Terran have just been looking super strong uh, and not looking to have any kind of answer from Scan. Scan doesn't seem to have an answer for this. Uh, he is holding on, but like he just took massive damage from those drops, and he invested so much in the race to to, to stop just that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not I'm not feeling super um, confident in Scan right now. Usually, he just obliterates his opponents making them look like he's on a different level maybe just having a little bit of an off day I'm not exactly sure what is going on with scan here um, did not look to be aggressive once this game really except for those, those initial vultures uh, micro gonna start throwing away a bunch of his uh, probes he is up to like a hundred probes so uh, not going to hurt his economy too much and he's going to come in here with another massive zealot attack here uh, I'm going to unsiege these tanks so the splash damage does not do too much. I'm going to pull down these rays once again to help defend this. A lot of bunkers. I uh, don't think that he is going to be able to break them, but he's going to send some probes up here to start cannoning in the middle of the map. While it looks like he transitions into some carriers. does have some arbiters out here. going to be ready to be hallucinated, it looks like. And uh, attempted to... Yeah, to do get some uh, recalls in. This drop gonna slip by. Uh, he did go by the widow mine, so it should be spotted here. Is gonna also go by this dropship and this vulture, so it 100% was spotted. We see that reaction now from uh, Scan going to try to pick these off before they go in. Uh, no Corsair accompanying them, so these turrets are actually gonna do massive damage as well. Only able to drop a single zealot, uh, so that drop was a bust here. Um, another massive attack though coming in here just being able to max so quickly is micro and just send these zealots in um, does want to continue to hold or put the pressure on as he knows he did massive damage with those drops getting a lot of kills yeah still only at 1-1 one, one is a Terran player and the Protoss is at 3-3 three, three. so these zealots are as strong as they're going to be for the rest of the game here up only against 1-1 one, one Marines and 1-1 one, one, uh, everything else. Everything just 1-1 one, one and he's at 3-3. Three, three. So these Zealots are hella strong. And that is why they are uh, getting quite a bit of damage done even though they're running into this choke here. But I believe that attack was just to buy him some time while he starts massing up these cannons in the middle of the map here. And uh, once again, going to put Scan in just a harder and harder position to... Uh, hold this. You can see he's just 100% relying on Wraith and uh, Turt to defend these drops. Not putting anything back at home. Um, we do see a hallucination. Arbiter is coming out here now. Going to try to get a recall off. Uh, no EMPs are in sight. I don't even see the science facility. Yeah, no science facility. Is there a science facility? There has to be because he is upgrading 2-2. Where the F is the science facility? Am I blind? Okay, there it is. I am blind. Uh, so he is upgrading EMP now. Uh, he must have spotted these, and he is going to go in here. Uh, these hallucinations are actually though getting low on HP. They're going to be running out in 9 HP, and he actually is going to back off instead of running into that. I don't know what that the point of that is. All of the hallucinations are going to disappear, and leaving these true um, 
Arbiter is exposed, and that is going to get shut down. I, I don't know how those ran out so quickly. It was really delayed on doing that. He had some Archons, High Templars, and Zealous ready to be recalled in there, but uh, not going to work this time around. Another drop getting ready to go in here as well. Looks like it's just completely empty, though. Um, yeah, I don't even see the dropship that is full. That is going to be picked off regardless. Now, more scans going down all around, checking out exactly what the Protoss is doing. But Scan has just decided to go massive star party. I just don't understand this from Scan. Well, he needs factories. Like, he has to have factories to deal with all this ground army. These fully upgraded zealots running in here. Miss some Archons in High Templars. Like, any of these attacks can take out a big chunk of uh, tanks, and then he's just not going to be able to rebuild it. Uh, at least as quickly as one would like. Uh, Micro VR though, just running in, clearing a lot of supply. Looks like he's going to now start building up these carriers. And right as I say that, they all do start queuing up. Uh, it does have some high Templars and a bunch of cannons outside of the choke. So Scan isn't going to be able to immediately run over to the map. He just needs to buy himself some time to get those carriers out. Uh, Scan has to realize that this is what he's up against. And he is more than prepared for carriers. It's just uh, the retransition back into ground that I'm worried about. Because if he loses all of these tanks to the carriers, it's going to take him forever to rebuild all of these tanks. And if the... the, the yeah, the Protoss gets into his base. It's going to be tough. So we'll see how this unfolds here. Uh, going to try to start pushing away at these cannons. And uh, right now, Micro is just massing up cannons. Going to try to buy him time to get all these carriers. Uh, two, four, six, uh, eight carriers being produced here at a time. Even starting to mass up cannons at home. So yeah, just massing cannons right now. And these cannons are just just to buy him time to get those carriers out. Uh, Scandal finally moving out at the 19 minute mark, looking for his first uh, real attack here. And that must just be because he has scanned those carriers being produced. He has to know that this is coming. And uh, yeah, I'm, I am worried. He is adding okay. He is adding a lot of factories. He must have heard me. He's adding a bunch more factories, but still, I don't know if that is going to be enough. Only building what six siege tanks at a time. Uh, it's going to take a long time to remake all of these siege tanks, uh, especially when you're trying to fight unsieged tanks versus cannons. So Scan is looking a little bit sloppier than we are used to seeing him, but. He is going to have uh, an opportunity to attack here. Once the Terran feels confident to move out, you do have to be a little bit worried as a Protoss player because uh, mass siege tanks are just not easy to break. They are 2-2. 3-3 two, two. Uh, is going to be um, nearly done, probably done by the time he finishes playing out all of these cannons. Uh, but a lot of tanks... And not the most anti-air. I don't see where all of his anti-air... Okay, he does have a pile of rays right here, but... I'm uh, not sure if that's going to be quite enough, especially with these Corsairs accompanying these... Uh, these carriers. Uh, the carriers are also going to be fully upgraded. He did start those as well, so all of the upgrades looking very nice for Micro VR. And, um... Yeah, we're going to see how this unfolds. Is he going to have enough to take out these uh, carriers, or is he going to have too many tanks? Uh, adding some Valkyries here as well. Still not seeing... Well, I guess he does have some vessels over here ready to EMP. Uh, but I feel like he needs to bring them down to help EMP these carriers. EMP taken out one-third of their health. 150 health will be taken out, and one shot can do like a, a ton of damage. 150 times 8 which I'm not even going to attempt to do that math right now. Uh, bringing out some SUVs wants to start massing up turrets. Turrets back here can even just help with playing with interceptors. Um, but yeah, now we are going to see these carriers try to take out these tanks before these tanks can break in and uh, try to reach that main. That is what they want to do. Uh, but even if they take out these carriers, he does have to worry about just instantly max zealots again. Uh, so he does need to keep his tank number fairly high. I'm not confident in his ability to rebuild tanks. 
Uh, adding a couple more machine shops. And they're going to bring these Rays and Valkyries down. And now, I uh, do like seeing that turret production uh, going. Even bringing some SCVs down here. So maybe you can start building some factories down here. Knowing that he does need some more factories. Usually Terran wants like at least 12, 12 uh, machine shop factories minimum. Uh, we are going to see these carriers clear out these tanks. Race completely out of position. And we do actually see the dropship slip down here. So maybe he spotted that dropship and he is just going to barely miss it. And it looks like Micro is actually going to be able to start expanding over here, which is not what you want as a Terran player. You do not want that Protoss uh, expanding. As then you just have to contain two fronts. Ma containing uh, mass cells from one spot is easy enough, but if they start coming from a different direction, it can be troublesome. These uh, race and Valkyries look like they are going to be able to push these cannons or these carriers back into the cannons. Does not want to get arbitered. Uh, Frozen is going to need those uh, vessels to come and join this fight, I think, if he really wants to uh, optimize this fight. Uh, but there we go. We have we don't see like any siege tanks anymore. All the siege tanks are basically taken out, and scan is max. And okay, he is going a lot of a lot of um, go. So like he he is ready for carriers, but uh, he still has to worry about all of these gateways. Uh, not sure how that transition is going to happen, and I'm genuinely worried for Scan. Scan just seems like he's a little lost this game. I uh, really does not want to lose. Maybe that is what's getting to him, the pressure. Uh, just Valkyrie race, not the army that you want versus a Protoss player. Uh, I think he is going to be able to take out these carriers, no problem. Uh, both of these arbiters do have enough for a freeze, but if if, if two freezes go down and, and freeze all of this, that's that's all of Terran's army. He, he's just going to be sitting with no supply at all. We are going to see a big battle going down here. Uh, the mass Valkyrie race versus the carriers is going to be able to actually look like he's going to win this fight. So maybe I maybe I am wrong and Scans is completely fine, but uh, I still. I'm still am worried for him as of right now. Uh, all of the race do get taken out, and there's only like six Valkyries remaining. Uh, massing up more Valkyries at home, but these Valkyries cannot shoot the ground. So if these carriers die and he doesn't decide to rebuild, he is rebuilding the carrier. So I guess those Valkyries are still a pretty good idea. Um, uh, Boo has killed off mainly all of his gas. He only has 42 probes right now. So he is really relying on his bank right now uh, to maximize the amount of carriers he can get. Uh, massing a bunch of gateways down here too. So he's going to be able to max ground units in one second once these carriers go down. And it's going to take Scan a bit longer with his lack of factories to rebuild. And he's potentially going to overbuild Valkyries as well. But as of right now, he does have to deal with the carriers. Uh, but massing ground units from down here it has started and it is undetected from scan. So this is a little bit of a problem for scan. Scan just fully invested in taking out these carriers uh, with his mass ghost, mass Valkyrie. Which mass ghost, mass Valkyrie, good versus carriers, not so good versus ground units. Killing off more and more of his probes. So he's going to look to go for a 200-200 army. All of these carriers getting locked down by these mass ghosts. And uh, that's going to lock their interceptors up as well. So these Valkyries are going to have free reign on these carriers. But now the transition into ground is going to start. Uh, not Okay, no, never mind. He still does have more carriers. But down here he does have a mass. Five units all queued up here in these gateways and he is going to look to uh, counter attack I think once these tanks get a little too far in the base these tanks ghosts and valkyries uh, are all going down here so if this was his only base I feel like scan would be in a good position but this expansion is really worrying me for scan scan does not know it exists he is going to have a, a, a good amount of siege tanks here in this choke area but he's going to have nothing at home. Only three stage tanks and one bunker. He did not rebuild his choke. Uh, and he just yeah, doesn't have a ton of factories here back at home. 
So this this could actually be this this could actually be a GG push here from Mr. Microbeer. It is now going to be scanned. So scan did just scan that, and he is going to know that this is a possibility. So uh, we'll see how he reacts. And then once he realizes he's scanned, now Micro is going to start sending in his units. I don't think he's going to try to send to help because that was a lot of siege check. I think he is going to go for that counterattack, and there is just not much here. Scan not reacting at all not rebuilding his wall nothing is happening and there is mass dragoons and zealots coming to his base completely avoiding his army scan is going to start coming back here with his siege tanks knowing that he may need to protect his production facilities uh the, the carriers getting taken out here back at home and the zealots are even pushing back these tanks here so this drop this attack is not even going to work here for him as uh, all of these tanks are having to come back to help the defend here and I think Micro VR is actually going to win this game here. It does look like he's getting on top of all of these factories. He is inside of this Terran base. Wraiths are starting to be built. A lot of his supply is in these Valkyries right now that are just not doing anything. There is no more air units. All of his uh, supply is in ground units. And the Valkyries are doing nothing right now. Going to be able to continue to mass down here. And it looks like Micro VR is actually going to be able to get on top of Scan. And Scan may be going down here. Scan doing his best here to pull these tanks back. But uh, there is a lot of 3-3 three, three units in his base. Taking out all of the turrets on the bottom side. Uh, vessels trying to run back here. Race not going to be no match for these Dragoons here. More reinforcements are coming down here. Not even able to contain here. Trying to build a vulture from the bottom. But he's at 162 supply. He has a 200-200 army. Going to be able to start massing from both ends. Going to be able to stay maxed. He is, is getting a little bit small on bank. But I think it's because he has so many units queued up. Uh, really goes through stuff here from micro vr uh vulture doing his best or scan doing his best to hold on but i don't think he has a production still like he's staying so low in supply not being able to just totally mass up like 20 30 tanks at once he uh invested so much in the race and the starports really messing up the sim city of his base which i think is going to be a big mistake and these units are continuing to push forward more and more units massing in micro vr having 170 supply in units uh as he only has 30 probes and all of the stuff on the production not letting these siege shake the sim city for these siege shake isn't even that good usually when you have the two walls you can also have a little bit better wall to siege up these tanks but these zealots are taking out everything right now and it looks like our champion scan is actually going to go down in the first round looks like micro vr is actually going to do it in the best of three going to upset uh one of the biggest upsets that we have ever seen and uh, the my, my my bracket is busted. He's, he's busted my bracket right now. I predicted Scan to win, and now he is going to be out in the first round versus Micro VR Sniper Scope, aka Fire Blue, playing out of his mind. Gosu right now. This clutch expansion is going to save his life and actually win himself the series. Uh, this is what I mean, and anything can happen in these first series, and uh, this is not what I ever assumed happening. This is a, a March Madness upset in December. And yeah, this is insane. Scan is going to fall. There is a 0% chance. GG, well played, is called GG. And our our favorite, or at least the favorite that I predicted to win the champion is going to be eliminated by Fire Boo. The, the 16 seed upsets the 1 seed. And uh, yes, that is what, that's what can happen in the best of three. Anything can happen. And now we have seen it firsthand. Scan losing to Micro VR. Uh, just playing out of his mind. All three games, Micro VR playing uh, the best I've ever seen him play. So maybe we have a new person to worry about. Um, yeah, that was that was insane by Micro. I don't know if, if he was playing out of his mind or if Scan was not playing at his level. Uh, but yeah, Micro VR outplaying Scan and getting a well deserved win there. Um, very nicely done by him and now that that changes up this whole bracket we were supposed to see a uh, scan fight Kokanee to get to the finals and now scans out so this first round unpredictable uh, anything can happen that just uh, shout out to whoever made that bracket making every series just so ghostly so far at least it seems uh, but yeah I'm not gonna take any credit well done to micro VR the hero of the game uh, getting that huge upset versus scan the korean uh falling scan falling one to two to micro vr micro vr winning two to one and yeah what a game what a series that was whew, each series just somehow gets better and better uh some excellent first round games and yeah well played to 
uh, Micro VR Fire Boo. Could this be his coming out tournament where he just he wins? Now, if he can beat Scan, he can beat anybody. Uh, but it is going to be harder as the as the as the ser as the tournament gets into the second and third rounds, as they are going to be a best of five, not just best of threes. Because uh, the more games you play, it is the harder it is to get those upsets. But uh, yeah, well done by Micro defeating Scan uh, two to one in advancing. I'll throw up those brackets if I haven't already, and you guys can check out how she's going. Uh, but yeah, GG, well played, incredible stuff, incredible tournament so far. Uh, thank you guys for playing, thank you guys for watching, and yeah, GG, see you in the next one. Have a Merry Tony G Christmas, it is December, uh, cue that Christmas music, and uh, see you guys later, GG, peace out.